Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my five unique and special luxury bags. And I was tagged by the lovely Jessie Styles. And for one, I cannot believe that she actually tagged me. So Jessie, thank you so much for tagging me. I am very excited to do this video, especially because I was actually thinking of unboxing this bag here that's been sitting behind me for quite a while now. Well, I don't know if you can figure it out, but the Wave does pretty special and unique bags. So I thought that this was the perfect prelude to unboxing that bag and I don't know if this video is gonna drag on for too long and if it does do stay tuned for part two which is the unboxing of this very special and unique Loewe bag. This tag was started by Je Suis Lou and I absolutely adore her channel and her collection as well. I also really love this tag because it makes you go through your current collection and actually consider which five bags you want to choose. I would say in general that I am not quite a classics girl and even though I do have classics in my collection, I tend to have a lot of limited edition bags as well. So in the spirit of what I have in my collection, I am going to exclude all my Hermes bags because currently all the Hermes bags that I have, I consider extremely classic. Even the brightly colored blue Birkin that I just revealed on this channel recently, I would consider that as a classic bag. Just because I have a lot of unconventional bags, I am just going to focus on the bags that I have that are special and unique in the sense of being decorated, ornamented, and just bags that tend to push the boundaries of this category. And I don't think that I have the most out there bags I'm not an extremist, but neither am I a complete conformist either. I do think that I have a huge variety of bags and I know it's time for me to downsize, but this year has not been the market for me to downsize in and I'm more than happy to hang on to my bags for the time being and just wait it out. So for the first bag that I consider special and unique, I immediately thought of this bag here. And I guess it's pretty self-evident why I would consider this bag special and unique. Not only is it special because it's my first Fendi bag, it is also my first bag with any kind of exotics on it. With this water snake skin, I know it's a pretty delicate skin as the scales over time do tend to delaminate and start to flip out. So I do have to be very careful with this bag. On top of that, it is heavily ornamented with what I call snowflakes, even though they are not snowflakes, but I like to think of this bag as my snowflake Fendi bag. And I absolutely love the crystal detailings here. There's a very nice mix of crystals and beading that is going on in each of these very unique patterns. And this is part of the Fendi's 25th anniversary of the Baguette collection that they released late last year, I believe. And I bought it in January this year. And I do think that this definitely is considered as a special and unique bag. Now, second on this list that I immediately thought of is this bag here. So I do have quite a few pieces from the various LV summer releases. And if you guys have been following LV for the past years, you will realize that LV actually has been releasing a lot of colorful bags and not to everybody's taste, unfortunately, but this is one of the very first few summer collection bags that they did release. I just fell in love. This is the Escale on the go GM size with these other pastel, petal pop kind of colors done in this tie-dye version. This was released in the year 2020 and that was the beginning of this whole period of time during the lockdown when everybody was kind of of like having this tie-dye craze and I was definitely sucked into it. I had quite a few pieces from the Escale collection. So I had a baby around that period of time and I definitely used this bag a lot. I do think that it brought me a lot of joy just because of the sheer colors. So I am a pastel lover and why not? Why not? It is special and unique. It's definitely attention grabbing. It's definitely very pretty, very girly and very fun. I love all my LV summer bags, but I think this one definitely has a special place in my heart. So I'm literally running out of daylight right now and it's been a very busy day, but I have realized that I have accumulated a few tag videos that I have yet to catch up on. And so I am going to try to make this as quick as possible. And if I can squeeze in the unboxing of this little a bag then I will but if I cannot then do stay tuned for part two and that is the reveal of my latest special and unique bag which I will not be included in this five bags. My third bag in this category is none other than my Fendi 
Tiffany collaboration baguette. And this bag, I think anybody and everybody would consider this bag a special bag. And yes, I haven't torn off the hardware stickers. It is still in a very, very good condition. I have been using my Fendi baguette bags, this one here and this one here for kind of ridiculous everyday errands actually even though they are special and unique bags that I initially thought I would carry only on special occasions but I find that the form factor for Fendi baguettes lends itself well to a everyday bag so I could be literally wearing t-shirts and denim shorts and carrying this baguette just running out to get my lunch and I think that you know what I'm just enjoying my bags I'm living my best life so I definitely don't think that you have to wait for a special occasion to use your special and unique bags. This bag is more fuss-free because it is this very smooth calf skin. I am careful not to scratch it up but at the same time I do use it pretty often and it's kind of bore up pretty well with my daily life. I haven't actually examined the hardware too much and I do think it looks a bit dirty. I do need to give it a bit of a cleaning or a buff especially on this little tag here. But I think this bag needs no introduction as to why it is special and unique. I absolutely love Tiffany. My engagement ring was a Tiffany engagement ring. And I'm just born of that era where everybody just wanted a diamond ring from Tiffany. And on top of that, it is in this gorgeous Tiffany blue color that I've absolutely fallen in love with. So yes, this is my third special and unique bag. Okay, my fourth special and unique bag is more like a category and they are my Yayoi Kusama LV collaboration bags. So I actually have another Elma and I have the Keep All 25 with the pumpkins and it was a lot of trouble to bring all these bags out here so and I've kind of shortlisted it to these two because I feel like there's nothing more iconic than the Speedy and the Elma from the house of LV. The brown monogram definitely is classic LV. These are very iconic bags so this is a Speedy 20 it is a bandolier version and it has these d-rings here to carry as a strap and this is an elma bb size and i don't actually use these two bags very often mostly because of the vaqueta leather and mostly because i've been on this fendi hermes kick lately but i know that because these are classic forms i will always have a place for these bags in my collection they are special and unique because it is yayoi kusama it is literally art on a bag and I have a great, great love for Louis Vuitton. I guess if I really had to pick one, I would pick the Speedy over the Elma, even though this is more special and unique in that it's not as common. And I think that most people did get the pumpkin version. So this Fish and Faces collection isn't as popular and it makes it more special and unique in that sense that it's more un uncommon. But I do think that there is something to be said for the iconic quality of the Speedy bag with the iconic Yayoi Kusama pumpkin artwork. And this to me is the best marriage of what is iconic from the artist and the fashion house. So my fifth special and unique bag is actually this bag. This is the Chanel 19S iridescent medium classic flap and I cannot say enough about this bag it's appeared on my channel a few times do you want to see what my very close runner-up was it is this mini rectangular 18s I think or 18k I think it was an 18k it comes with all the charms from the house of Chanel it has the very iconic Chanel CC logo it has the four leaf clover for luck it has hearts, quilted hearts and quilted diamonds and it has um, these lion heads here because Chanel herself was a Leo and I am a Leo. And honestly, now that I look at it, I think this should be chosen instead of this bag but this is my princess bag and it's iridescent so I don't know, I couldn't decide honestly. I really couldn't decide between these two bags. Maybe this bag wins. So I would say this bag for my Chanel category of special and unique bags. So that's it for my special and unique bags. So I think this is a good stopping place because I'm running out of daylight and I'm running out of time too. I have to 
get the kids to dinner. I hope you enjoyed this very quick tag video and I hope that you guys stay tuned for the next few tag videos that I am going to put out. So if you want to stay tuned and see what's inside here, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and ring my bell so you'll get notified when I put out my next video. So do give me a thumbs up if you like this video or leave a comment to say hi and let me know what your special and unique bags are. And I would like to tag anybody who watches this video and feels like doing it. I am going to leave a bunch of names in the description box down below. Do feel free to participate in this tag. I think it's a very fun way for everybody to get to know each other. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye!